73 years ago, 80 men achieved the unimaginable when they took off from an aircraft carrier on a top secret mission to bomb Japan. These men, led by Lieutenant Colonel James H. Jimmy Doolittle, came to be known as the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders. They carried the Battle of the Pacific to the heart of the Japanese Empire with a surprising and daring raid on military targets at Tokyo, Yokohama, Yokosuka, Nagoya, and Kobe. This heroic attack against these major cities was a result of coordination between the Army Air Forces and the United States Navy, which carried the 16 North American B-25 medium bombers aboard the carrier USS Hornet to within takeoff distance of the Japanese islands. In recognition of their outstanding heroism, valor, skill, and service to the United States military during World War II, the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders were awarded a Congressional Gold Medal on 15 April 2015 by leaders of the U.S. House and Senate. Museum Director, Lieutenant General Retired, John Hudson accepted the medal on behalf of the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders. Congressional gold medals are the highest civilian honor the U.S. Congress can bestow. They are designed and struck by the United States Mint, and these medals are normally kept by the Smithsonian Institution. However, the 113th Congress directed that the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders Medal be given to the National Museum of the United States Air Force, where it shall be available for display with the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders goblets. The medal will be on permanent display at the museum following this ceremony as part of the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders diorama, which features a North American B-25 on the simulated deck of the USS Hornet. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got the 17 bomb roof on there too? Someplace? Yes, we do, sir. Right up there on the cross oh, the top, okay. David. Okay. We tried to cover the essence of what you were all about that day. Uh, I think it's um, very, very nice. Uh, it's, um, actually, it's beautiful. Uh, and uh, it. Uh, a good representation of the group. Really surprising that we were able to get it. I'm glad it was for the entire crew. A beautiful medal. Had very much uh, important information on both sides of it. The Congressional Gold Medal was carried on a ceremonial flight on board the B-25J Panchito, owned by Larry Kelly and Lori Thompson of Mardella Springs, Maryland. The ceremonial flight of the medal on this type of aircraft was a fitting tribute to the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders mission. I've just been extremely lucky with what I've done over the years to be able to be associated with the Raiders and do things you know, with the Raiders. And uh, to be asked to do this was just a huge honor. So. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it all the way, but also watching airspeed and altitude and timing. And uh, it, it, we were scheduled to be here at 11 o'clock, and I think we got here pretty close to 11 o'clock. To me, my hero all the way, you know, growing up, was David Thatcher. Being able to call Dave, you know, a friend and, and be an acquaintance and, you know, speak to him at these events and other events is, uh, you know, it's a huge honor. It's a dream come true for me. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to ever present you with this Congressional Gold Medal for the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll do our best to take care of it. I know you will. At this ceremony, we recognize all of the Raiders, including the gunner of crew number 15, Lieutenant Colonel Edward J. Saylor, who passed away in January, and the co-pilot of crew number 16, Lieutenant Colonel Robert L. Height, who passed away in March. The raid, which took place on 18 April 1942, was an extremely important event in the development of American air power. It marked the first combat use of strategic bombardment by the United States Army Air Forces in World War II. The psychological impact on the Japanese military and the American public proved to be immense. It forced the Japanese military to pull forces back from the front lines to protect the home islands and showed Americans that the war could be won. The U.S. Air Force has drawn upon the Doolittle Raiders for inspiration ever since. Of the 80 Doolittle Raiders, more than half survived World War II. Seven lost their lives in the aftermath of the Tokyo Raid, and 12 more were killed before the war's end. 
We are proud to have with us the co-pilot of crew number one, Lieutenant Colonel Richard E. Cole, and the engineer and gunner of crew number seven, Staff Sergeant David J. Thatcher. As a country, we owe our gratitude to these brave men and all who supported the mission. Thank you.